a centre that try very hard to promote women-centred care. So this is not about care um, from the outside moving in, it's about looking at the woman and putting her needs first and trying to build around that um, a programme that, that makes sure we're looking at holistic care. Now that doesn't matter if she's a VVF patient or she's a maternity patient, it's the same principle. That if you look at the woman as an individual and you then build what she needs, then you teach how to do that. So what we're doing as well is we're developing the national staff into that way of thinking. And then the woman stays centre and I think the care um, the care she receives is better and it's, it's individualised and that's really important to us. So they take her to one of the older women where they normally take other ladies to give birth. That is the place where they tie the hand, put it on the ground, somebody else stand on the hand and the other person hold this hand on the other side, the other person hold one of the feet and the other hold the other feet and then open her legs. And the other person started viewing her to see what happened. And the other person is looking into her vagina. What's wrong? Why the baby is stuck? And the other one is putting the hand inside her to get the baby outside. But they were unable, so they started flogging her. You are afraid. That's why you don't want to give birth. Look at the baby head. Try, push, push. And then somebody else come and sit on the head. And the other person use cloth and then block her nose. So you give birth, you don't want to give birth. They give her some medicine and then she gave birth, but it was still bad. And then later they find out she was unable to walk because of the pain. And then they call here and then bring her. In April last year, we opened a maternity unit attached to the fistula center here at the Aberdeen Women's Clinic. And one of the main reasons for opening it was obviously good maternity care will prevent fistulas. So the mandate was to open a maternity unit to provide excellent maternity care, to train midwives to become skilled midwives, and thereby to prevent fistula. So Sia was one of the midwives who joined us right at the beginning. And Sia, maybe you want to, you came straight from your training to be with us here. Maybe you want to tell us a little bit about your training. Well, on completion of our course, they expect us to know everything. Some are even posted to the provinces with little or no experience in the practical field. You have the theory, yes, we study, but sometimes they say, when you go to the field, you will learn from there. But how can somebody learn on the field when sometimes you are posted there as the most senior somebody? I don't think you can really learn there, except you learn to subdue yourself to your junior so that they can teach us. But I think we should get our training from our senior. There should be somebody on the ground who is our senior to teach us the practical before they post us. I think that would be fine. But they say you get the certificates, then when you go, you get the experience when you go to the feed. So now it's 20 months after the unit opened and I've been here from the beginning, but I leave shortly. And Sia is now in a position to take over being the lead midwife in the maternity unit, supporting her colleagues, mentoring, basically just carrying on the work that's happened here. And I think the main thing is we've worked together as a team. It's been the international staff that have come, but the most important thing has been the national staff we've been working with. And as Sia says, I mean, we have seen with our own eyes how when they arrived in the beginning and were really shaky and not, not sure about doing things now, they manage vaginal breech births, postpartum hemorrhages, delivering twins, resuscitating babies, all those things they don't even need to call us. 
And I think one of the things which we've really shown here is by good basic midwifery care, you truly can save the lives of mothers and babies. And we've had over 1,500 births in our maternity unit and we've only had two maternal deaths. So in a country where the average is one in eight woman has a one in eight pregnant woman has a lifetime risk of dying. The statistic we've shown here is absolutely phenomenal. And it's not because we have fancy equipment. It's not we've got no CTG monitors, we have no resident anaesthetists, we use nurse anaesthetists that are on call from home. So really what we've been showing here is what is good basic midwifery care, diagnosis, emergency care, that alone saves mothers and babies. Yes, we do have the opportunity for caesarean section and we do that, but it's not on hand immediately. It's a two hour wait. So the results we've got are because of the midwives being skilled. I'm proud that when I see a woman leaving here with a baby, that she's alive, that the baby's alive. I'm very proud when in the VVF side I see a gladi gladi ceremony and I see a woman that's been given back hope and has joy and can go back to her community and know that what has happened here has changed the outlook on her whole life and that probably means her family's life as well. So it's, it's about the hope. I think hope is what the centre is about more than anything.